Hello and welcome to the video. This is the first of just a couple of short videos on how you do things like vinyl cutting. Now vinyl cutting allows you to do some pretty cool stuff. You can obviously create vinyl bits. Uh, this is a bit on the side of my bin. Uh, my wife actually did this on her vinyl cutter. Yep, my wife and I both have our own. And you can also do things like create designs for your models, like this one on the bottom of things like my E-Wings Blackhawk. But also you can use them to cut stencils. And I've got a stencil that I use uh, this is the box uh, bag, I suppose, that you um, carry around all the DJI stuff in. This has got my goggles and my DJI controller. But you can kind of do this kind of cool stuff too. Now, this video is going to go through this at a reasonable pace. Uh, it's not a particularly expensive part of the hobby to get into. Um, the most expensive thing is going to be uh, your vinyl cutter. This is kind of a hobby grade one that I use. This is a silhouette portrait. This is going to be about £220, something like that. Looks like a little um, old-fashioned printer. And in here, what it is, it's a little cartridge that has a little blade on it. And it kind of moves things backwards and forwards and puts the blade up and down and cuts whatever you want. Now, there are much more expensive machines and professional-grade machines. And in fact, talking about my wife again, the version that she's got is this one here. This is the Cricut Maker. That's about £370, although I think places like Costco have them with more of the toys for slightly cheaper. Now, my basic machine, the Silhouette Portrait, will only do A4 and it'll only really do cutting. The Cricut the machine that my wife has will do up to A3 and also do other uh, kind of cool things as well. You can actually make it do all kinds of funky stuff. And then, of course, the only other part of the system you need is a bit of vinyl. You can get them in flat packs like this with loads of different colours. Or if you want to do it cheaper, a, a roll is much better. And then you just need some what's called transfer film that allows you to pick the decal off and to put it wherever you're going to put it. So stay with this video. I'm going to show you all the steps and we'll make a little painless pill to go on one of my models and pop it on here. So here we are on the computer. Now, one thing you need to be aware of is that lots of these kind of machines uh, don't come with the fully featured version of the software. They come with like the very basic version for basic cutting. A little bit naughty of them. This version here on the computer is the Silhouette Design Studio. Uh, this is the one that goes with things like Silhou Silhouette Portrait and I need to do some of the funky stuff. So uh, the best way I've found to get this kind of stuff is to go on Etsy. You can get the licenses from Etsy sellers for uh, a lot less, which is how I did it. So in here, I'm not going to go through all of this. Again, this is just like a basic introduction. I'm just going to kind of cover everything. But what I'm going to cut, and I've measured it on the model, and it needs to be about five and a half, six centimeters tall, rather than put another painless pill on my Black Hawk, I want this instead. I'm a massive fan of the original trilogy. I grew up with the original trilogy of Star Wars and the Mandalorian and things like Star Wars Rebels and stuff. It's stuff that I really enjoy and uh, as I've been watching it, The Mandalorian recently and seeing Boba Fett come back and things like that, uh, you'll see my Christmas jumper that has Boba Fett on it, you'll know I'm a massive fan. So I want a Mandalorian crest on the side of my vertical stabilizer on the Black Hawk. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag uh, the thing that I want to cut onto this mat. Now this mat here is a representation of the physical mat that's actually on the table. Now we're going to attach the vinyl to it. Uh, now this is has kind of got a sticky effect thing on it. This comes with the portrait and I'm just going to put the vinyl over it and that'll kind of hold it into place. And then we can load that into the machine. So if we just line it up like that, hit the load button, turn it on first, that'll help. And then hit the load button. That will get the material ready to cut. We want to cut it up here. So back on the computer, I just need to pull in my Mando crest. Uh, we probably need to resize that, I thought. Let's drop that down. Now in here, we can actually select the size that we want. So I'll just... Eyeball that, that'll do, that's about right to me. I'm going to drag it into the place. That's where we want to cut it on the physical machine. So next thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to select the area that I want to trace. 
and it's automatically picked it up. You can change the threshold here on how close it goes to the very edges. Um, I kind of like that to be honest, that's pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to select trace and now if I delete that background those red lines are where the machine is going to cut when we actually cut it on the machine. So let's go into send. So that's all it's going to do. So what we're going to do is we'll set, select, tell it the kind of stuff we've got. So we're looking for vinyl, which is going to be at the bottom. It is glossy vinyl. Next, It'll, the operation is cut. Uh, the tool is a ratchet blade, which is the little thing in here. I'll show you that in a moment. I'm going to click next, and it says adjust adjust the blade depth to one. Now, the way it works is that there are little kind of graduations on this blade. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, I'm going to leave it on two. This blade is towards the end of its life, so I just need a little bit more pressure than normal. So we'll leave it like that, and then we'll click on start. And then the machine will just start cutting. If we get that out, I don't know if you can see the reflection there's the cut so uh, the tip is you always peel away the backing from the vinyl otherwise the vinyl ends up very very curled what I'm going to do is just with a pair of scissors I'm just going to cut round that now you could in the in the software actually set up cuts and things around it but let me just cut the pair of scissors and we'll go to the bench and I'll show you how we're going to weed this and then put it on transfer tape ready to go onto the model Okay, so now we've got it cut out, we need to do something called weeding, and that's take all the vinyl on here that we don't need. Now, you can just use a pin, or you can get the, something like this, like a weeding tool, and all we're going to do is we're going to try and just pull the vinyl away that we don't need, and on complicated cuts, you are going to kind of have relief cuts in it. Again, kind of outside the scope of what we're going to talk about today, but you should see that we can almost kind of peel it back, and what we're watching for is to make sure that it pulls all the bits off that we don't want and leaves all the bits that we do. So we're doing all right. Around its little mouth might be a little bit exciting. And this is why on big complicated cuts you'd actually um, in the software can I put some extra bits and pieces. I'm just going to pull those bits off. So that's all waste. And there is a couple of bits in the middle, so we'll just pick that up and pull that whole piece out. There we go. So now we have our design. Now that is going to go kind of on here somewhere. To get it on there though, because obviously the sticky side is on the other side of this little bit of paper, we need something called transfer tape. Now this is uh, kind of a semi-sticky stuff, it comes in a big roll, and all I'm going to do, I'm going to stick it over the top, and I'm going to press down nice and hard to make sure that it picks up all of that uh, graphic. And now I'm just going to cut the whole thing out so that it's ready to transfer to the model because we don't want to pull the backing off yet because that's protecting the sticky back of the vinyl so that's what the piece looks like by now hopefully if you've had these kind of things for the post you've ordered from other people it's starting to look familiar now the thing is we need to figure out where this is going to sit on the model now I have a rough idea but let's get a better one now the trick is if you get a piece of scotch tape and stick it over the end like that we're going to be able to use that to kind of keep everything lined up once we're happy so I'm just gonna put my wing on here of how it kind of sits 
in flight like that. I'm running out of hand for this, <laughs> to do this stuff. Hopefully you can kind of, you're still following. Uh, the decal uh, needs to be on the outside, but probably like that is probably going to be good. And I think about there looks right to me. So let me just place it because that's and it, take your time when you're going to place it because this is a it, it, is, it is pretty much a one shot deal. You can have another go if you really have to, but that looks about right to me. Is we're going to stick down that top piece of tape, and then what we're going to do is we're going to peel off the back. And that's going to leave the decal on here, and then we're going to using firm pressure. We're going to stick the decal onto here, and it, you can use um, tools for this. But if you just use a firm pressure and work from one end, you should be fine. And then, if you lift up the corner of the transfer tape and pull it back flat, so that it's not lifting the vinyl, it'll come off, and it'll look like that absolutely perfect so that's how you do it that's how you use a cutter to create a simple decal and you can decorate your models again they the machines themselves are not as cheap as i would like but if you want to do some kind of funky stuff and have your models with some very unique designs on it's a fantastic way to do it Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.